Friends of Jesus, on September 27th, the church will celebrate a great saint. One of our schools is named after him, Saint Vincent de Paul. Saint Vincent de Paul was born in France in 1580. He was born to a uh, peasant farmers. But then he joined the seminary and studied and was ordained as a priest only at the age of 20. Nowadays, that would be actually too young to be ordained as a priest in the church law. In canon law, it indicates very clearly that a man is to be ordained to the priesthood earliest at the age of 24. Just to give an example, I was actually ordained when I was uh, 28 to the priesthood. Back to St. Vincent de Paul. Born in the, towards the end of the 16th century and then lived all his life in the 17th century. He got a job after becoming a priest and he wanted to make a good wage, but then once he meets a priest, a cardinal who was working for the queen, because he also himself, St. Vincent, worked at the queen's household. Something within him changed, and he actually started to see the poor, to help the poor, the disabled. So he actually also organized charities and the missionaries. And most of his work was dedicated to God, for the people, for the poor, for the disabled, for those that were abandoned by the society. He provides for them. That is why he's also known as a patron saint of charitable societies. Students at St. Vincent, what a great saint we have as a patron saint at your school. But he's also a great example to all of us. Look at the light of Christ that was shining through him. He was going to do good work as a priest. But then within his priesthood as a young man, only at the age of 20, something within him, within him changed and he wanted to offer his life in the church, but for the poor, for the disabled, for those that were abandoned by the society. And he did that. Christ always shares his word with everyone. That is why when he shared that beautiful parable of the sower and the seed, it says that he sows his seed everywhere, meaning God gives his word everywhere. He does not say, no, the word is only for this group of people or for that group of people. No, it's for all of us. The only question is, how do we respond? Saint Vincent let the light of Christ shine through him by being a changed man and becoming a saint living a holy life in the church, in the world, by helping the poor, the disabled, those that the society abandoned. But he did not, because he saw in each and every one of them Christ. So as you and I continue to share our light this year, yes, in our families, in our schools, in our communities, in our churches, wherever we might be, let us remember this great example, this great saint by name of Saint Vincent. And let us also open, to be open to the change, meaning Christ, as we hear the word of God, there might be a word, a sentence that touches us. Are we willing to change? Are we willing to do the will of God? What comes to mind is the icon or a holy picture of Jesus that knocks at the door. And the door actually does not have a knob on Jesus' side, only on the inside. That means the door knob is for each and every one of us to let him in, to experience that encounter with Christ fully and completely. Saint Vincent, pray for us.